what we've got is is uh, Liquid Intelligence 500. It's on our website. There's a there's a heap of information about the product there. Uh, Liquid Intelligence uh, 500 is a combination of uh, a uh, it's a hybrid between a waterless coolant and a conventional coolant. It comes as a 15 litre container of ready to use coolant, which I think your cooling system is is probably going to be you know, a bit more than 11, I think. But but let's say that's even if it's 11, you've still got you know th- say four sli- four litres up your sleeve uh, for top ups if you need it. Now. It's a ready-to-use coolant, as I said, 15-litre container. It contains a 50% solution of monoethylene glycol. It's got a hybrid organic inhibitor in there called a G12++. So it's a, you know, a, um, the one that uh, BMW, Mercedes, Audi, VW use, Ford's using some now, and, and General Motors as well. Uh, it's the top of the tree, 70 years, 350,000 K protection for corrosion. Uh, and now, the water content in there is demineralized, but what makes it special is it's got this group of chemicals collectively and generically called um, uh, thermal conductivity coefficient additives. That's what we've taken from a waterless coolant. That's what makes a waterless coolant work. Now, these additives uh, in this formula, or what, they, what they're basically doing is that they're changing the surface tension of the fluid within the cooling system and reducing the frequency and size of vapour that gets formed on the internal walls of the water jacket, which then allows that liquid to wet the surface out more completely, pull the heat out of the block more efficiently, and, and uh, make it work you know, well beyond the capabilities of, of, of normal coolant. Um, it, it just sort of stops that vapour from happening. So it, once that liquid is wetting that surface out completely, it's pulling the heat out of the block uh, as fast as, and, and, and pushing it through the radiator as fast as you're making it. So you, your radiator temperature and your block temperature pretty much stay in sync with each other. They don't, don't get out of variation. You know, they don't, don't uh, you know, block temperature way up here and cooling temperature down here. Now, um, so it's the, the, that when you put these, these additives, these thermal conductivity coefficient additives and the glycol together, it's like having a double whammy of anti-boil and it pushes your boil point up to about 140C and your vapor length point up to about 124C. And that would probably give you about 25 to 30% more thermal capacity than you currently got. Okay. Yeah, well, it, it, you're not Robbins Crusoe here. You know, like this is this is something that that uh, happens quite a bit, and um, yeah, this is this is you know the combination of, of cleaning a block out so it will transfer heat and putting a coolant in the, there that can transfer heat just fixes so many overheating issues. Particularly when you when you've got all the all the other bases covered, you've got everything done on that cooling system. Yet it's still a problem. Yeah. It's but the idea is that um, when you're talking about the two three nine kit. Uh, what you're doing is, is minimising the time that's in there, but maximising the time that is in there. Now, we, we've got guys that leave it in there for 10 days or more, uh, but they're, they're big old clunkers, you know, big old cast iron blocks, you know, in the 40s and 50s, um, and, and not bristling with aluminium or any of the softer metals. So you, you can do that with them. But when, when you've got an investment vehicle like yours, what we suggest you do is, is we know from experience that, as I said, this, is, this product is pretty much inert to copper brass, uh, copper brass, solder, cast iron, cast aluminium. So all the metals you find in the cooling system, it's pretty much inert to everything. It won't do any damage, but it is still a cleaner. And as a cleaner, it's, it's uh, mildly corrosive. But we know from experience now, you know, almost 20 years on, that if you leave it in there for no more than two days, at, at the best, you know, and at the worst, maybe three, but two days, they're, they're, you know, it's not, it's not in there long enough to do damage to the base metals. It will just strip the ferrous oxide and the calcium out of the system completely and, and um, uh, clean, up, clean up the block. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, well, sometimes you know when when you've got when you've got a, a top layer that soft furry stuff, the, the, the ferrous oxide, the top layer of fer, ferrous oxide. And, uh, what you see sometimes with that snake camera is like pieces of shale and scale uh, embedded in that top layer. So when you to- when you break down that soft soft stuff, all those little hard pieces come adrift. And, and, and they can get picked up by the water pump and they'll find their way into the fluids to radiate it. So we've got to stop that from happening now. Now, the way you, there's like there's, there's, uh, there's top radiator hose filters, inline filters you can have, uh, which are more designed for, you, you know, when you've got a problem and you get these little pieces coming through and blocking the fluids up all the time. We, we, we don't need that because we're going to clean the block right out, so right back to the cast iron again. So what, what, what we need is a, is a short-term filter. Now, the short-term filters that we use are just socks. You know, just, just um, the ones I use are just, um, I just go down to Woolies and buy a pair of business socks. You know, they, uh, it's a cotton nylon blend. It's, it's um, a summer version of a cotton nylon blend sock. And um, now what I do with it, is I disconnect the top radiator hose from the radiator. I push the toe of the sock into the top tank of the radiator through the male fitting on the tank, push it almost all the way in. And then you get to the end of the sock and then peel the end of the sock back over the male fitting on the, on the tank and then push the hose back over the top of all that and lock it, lock it down with the hose ring again. And, and that, um, that works a treat. And it, it, it opens up like a balloon inside the... When you've got flow, it opens up like a balloon. And, and when you stretch the sock in between your fingers and have a look at it, it's, you can see that the, the weave is big enough to allow flow, but not big enough to, to, to let anything that would, through that would block a fluid of a radiator. Hmm. So that's how, that's how we do it. And after the first day, uh, take the sock out and then... Uh, you know, either keep it or wash it, or I just throw them away. They're cheap enough, and and put another one in. Uh, but you, we've, you know, I've done cars uh, that I didn't think were all that bad, and I pulled out like a half a kilo of of rust particles out of it in the sock. I've had one where I couldn't even get the sock out; it was just jammed up solid in there. There was uh, so much, so much shit that came out with it. Hmm. 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 The seal, seal product, well, yeah, what you're going to do with this, uh, the seal product is you're going to use it at a 10% solution. So that's, that's one can is enough to treat 10 litres, and it's $102.46. All right. <clears throat> the cleaner. Yeah, the, two, the 239 kit uh, is $153, and there's enough in that kit to treat up to 30 litres of radiator water. So you've got, you know, say 12 litres or something like that. Uh, so you've got, you got, it's definitely got enough to do two vehicles. Oh. Well, yeah, all right. No, um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what you're saying. It's, uh, I, I just think that um, most sixes are a 10, you know, like an old Holden, an old Holden is, is about ten liters. Um, the big Fords, uh, if, you, if you like, if you had a, a big V8 in a in a fair lane, it was about fifteen, sixteen liters. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it's one hundred and forty-three bucks. Sydney. Yeah, and you're in the Gold Coast, are you? Yeah. Uh, to get it all up there, it's about uh, you know twenty-five, thirty bucks to get the whole lot in there, one box. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's the whole idea of it. It's 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 um, 
most of the vehicles that we're doing now are you know all investment vehicles anyway. Uh, you know, it's, 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 some of these things, some of the vehicles, like we, one of the ones we cleaned out was um, uh, MacArthur staff car, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, uh, we had uh, Herman Goering's um, convertible. Convertible and yeah, you know, there's uh, what was one? Of, oh, there was a couple others, you know. That uh, throwing names around now, but like it's there's 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 been over the years. There's been a lot of guys that have used the product and uh, with with good success without any complaint. You're welcome. Talk to you soon. Right, bye bye.